Joan of Arc, a peasant girl, born around 1412 in Domremy, France, is probably one of the most controversial figures in history. Portrayed as saint, heretic, religious zealot, demented teenager, proto-feminist, and savior of France, she was the one who turned the tide of the Hundred Years' War between England and France, extremely patriotic. She donned the clothing of a soldier, instead of traditional female attire, the choice, ultimately leading to her being burnt at the stake by the English. It seemed Joan was destined for an extraordinary life. Even as a child, she claimed to receive visions and voices from saints, urging her to support Charles VII, the Dauphin of France. In 1429, at the age of 17, Joan convinced Charles to allow her to lead French forces against the English. Her strategic brilliance and charismatic leadership proved crucial, lifting the siege of Orleans and leading to several victories. These successes boosted French morale and paved the way for Charles's coronation as King Charles VII. However, Joan's fortune changed when she was captured by the Burgundians in 1430 and sold to the English. The English had a profound hatred for Joan. Several soldiers took offense at the fact that they were losing to an army led by a woman. After his defeat at Orleans, Bedford reported to the English crown that his men had been bewitched by a satanic agent in the form of a woman dressed as a man in an attempt to save face. After her capture, she faced charges of heresy, witchcraft, and cross-dressing during her trial. Her attire, however, was the most controversial topic. Joan said it was only practical to don a soldier's attire at war, but despite her staunch defense and unwavering faith, Life and society at the time was heavily influenced by the Catholic Church, and Joan was convicted and burned at the stake in 1431, at the young age of 19. King Charles VII, after the recapture of the site of Joan's trial, organized a posthumous retrial, during which it was concluded that her attire was necessary for maintaining order among the troops and to protect her chastity against soldiers. French or English, who might attempt to inflict an act of sexual outrage on her. In 1456, Joan of Arc was declared innocent, and her conviction was nullified. Her legacy endured as a symbol of French nationalism, and she was canonized as a saint by the Catholic Church in 1920.